In this experiment, we're investigating the effects of a catalyst on hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide breaks down to water and oxygen, but this happens very, very slowly on its own. We can use catalysts or biological catalysts to speed the process up. A biological catalyst is called an enzyme. The enzyme catalase is present in liver and some different kinds of fruit and veg. So we're going to test some different fruit and vegetables today to see what the reaction is. So first of all, I'm going to take our hydrogen peroxide and I'm going to put two mils into each of our test tubes. And then so we can compare the speed of the reaction, I'm going to add two drops of detergent. I'm then going to take, we're going to use apple, carrot and potato today. But to make it a fair test, we're going to use exactly the same amount of each. So first of all, apple. So I'm using a cork borer here to take a sample. I'm then going to cut each sample into one centimeter pieces. To make it a fair test. So first of all, apple. So we're going to pop that piece into our first test tube. And then carrot. And then potato. We'll then gently mix our test tubes. We're going to leave this for an amount of time, and then we're going to come back and we're going to measure the height of the foam produced. So after 10 minutes, we can see we've got some foam produced in our test tubes. So we can use our ruler to measure. So the enzyme catalase is present in some vegetables and it's speeded up our reaction. So in our first one, this one was apple. We can measure we've got 0 0.6 mils of foam in there. In our second one, that was the carrot. We've got 1.2 centimeters. So this one was 0 0.6 centimeters. 0 0.6 centimeters. 1.2 in the carrot and the last one the potato we've got 1.5 centimeters in that one so the catalase is speeding up the reaction of the hydrogen peroxide breaking down to water and oxygen